Hey, this is Nick Milavoy from Premier Guitar. I'm here at NAMM 2024 in Anaheim, California. I'm hanging out at the Seymour Duncan booth with Chris, who you just heard on guitar, and Zach. Zach's going to tell us about what we're hearing. Hey, how's it going? This is the brand new Power Stage 100 Stereo from Seymour Duncan. It's the latest in our line of compact power amps, uh, designed to fit on your pedal board and serve as a power amp for your digital modeler, your preamp pedal, or anything that you want to run in front of it and amplify in a small portable uh, setup. So uh, this is the latest in our series. We've started with the Power Stage 170 and the Power Stage 200, which are both mono units. We also introduced the Power Stage 700 uh, after, along with those, which is a stereo 700 watts per side uh, unit. But this, the Power Stage 100 stereo, is in the form factor that you're familiar with, with the 200 and the 170, and it's 100 watts per channel. So we got left and right inputs, left and right outputs, and it uh, has an extended EQ compared to some of the other power stages. We've got a low mid and a high mid control now. But basically, this runs after your modeler or your preamp as a way to amplify those exact sounds that you've spent time dialing in on your quad cortex, your fractal FM3, your uh, even your, we have the jack preamp out there uh, from Victor. It's a lot of great options out there to get your sound in a small uh, modeler or pedal package. And the power stage is designed to amplify that for stage volume purposes, uh, live shows, uh, we've got they're great for rehearsals as well. And so you don't have to rely as much on the PA and monitors or in-ears. Um, so we're seeing a lot of success with these and the PowerStage 100 stereo is perfect for those who are looking for something that really allows them to do, uh, make use of two cabinets on stage for ping pong delays, choruses, stereo reverbs, stuff like that. So. Yeah, all right. And you said it has extended um, EQ possibilities, but can you just walk us through the EQ controls real quick? Sure. Absolutely. So we have, of course, our bass and treble controls, but uh, we've, we used to just have a mid control. That's what you'll find on the Power Stage 200. Now we have a low mid and a high mid control. Gives you a little bit of flexibility when you're dialing in your sound at the venue night after night. Um, this presence control, also very useful for sort of a, a a little bit more brightness in the high end really helps cut through in certain environments. And then of course you have full control. So if your sound from the modeler is just the way you want it, you can completely bypass the EQ section with this switch here, which is really nice. We also have an analog cab sim on this for uh, having cab simulation when you don't actually use one. It's uh, uh, good for when you're running direct to the mixing board and, and et cetera. So um, really versatile unit. Obviously very lightweight, very small, fits on your pedal board, so really ideal for uh, musicians that are playing at a level where they're doing fly dates and they don't want to pay to lug heavier uh, tube amps or certainly even larger solid state power amps. So, All right, and what's the pricing and availability on these? These are uh, retailing for $5.99 and they are available right now. You can find them at SeymourDuncan.com or at your favorite uh, Seymour Duncan dealer. Awesome, and I bet we're hearing Seymour Duncan pickups too, aren't we? That's very right. I'm glad you asked. This is the new Slash 2.0 humbucker set, which we introduced uh, last year. Uh, brand new uh, voicing for Slash, based off his original Slash model, which we've done for many years now. Uh, higher output, really, really cuts through uh, nicely in his kind of modern setup, and uh, they sound great. If you're looking, if you're a Slash fan, you gotta have them. So. All right. Well, this is Nick Milavoy here for Premier Guitar. We were talking with Zach, and Chris is going to play us out.